Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Against the Public for September 29th. I'm Dana Lane. Today, we'll go through my top Major League Baseball free plays for the very last day of the regular season. Seems like it was March 28th, like a month ago, but here we are at the end. Uh, it's been an interesting baseball season. Again, as a Pirates fan, eh, you know, <laughs> we are where we are every single year. And uh, next year, I'm sure they'll uh, sell us on Jared Jones and Paul Skeens, as they should, but... I've been doing this long enough to know. <laughs> Never get your hopes up. But here we are, uh, last day of the regular season. After we get, after the show, please go over to PickDogs.com. I'll crank up another week in the National Football League. Right now, I have my NFL selections locked and loaded. I had three massive plays for Sunday, so please don't miss out. Don't forget the WNBA playoffs start back up tomorrow. We'll look to build on our 6-2 and two start in the WNBA postseason. Uh, there's one more day left. Uh, as we just said in Major League Baseball, what an ending to the season that we've had. 59.1% winners uh, plus 13.37 units or 1,337 units over the last 30 days. So please don't miss out on Sunday's selections. You could jump on my single plays or my Sunday Major League Baseball or WNBA plays for just $49.99. That NFL three-pack will be $54.99. And of course, every individual play in every three-pack always comes with our pick dogs win guarantee. T. In addition, there's only one way to get every play that I release, and that's to simply become an all-access member, and you could do that over the next 30 days for less than $11 a day, the next 90 days for less than $10 a day, or better yet, guys, just jump on that all-access pass for the next 365 days. Comes out to be about $3.70 a day. I'll take you all the way through the NFL season, the college football season, uh, upcoming NHL season, uh, of course, NBA college basketball, and the rest of the uh, Major League Baseball season, and we'll take you right to this point uh, this time next year with that 365-day pass. So uh, make sure you get involved in that. Thank you to everybody that has so far. Let's get to your free plays for Sunday. Remember, these are probable pitchers, and as we learned yesterday, uh, please confirm before placing your wager. In game number one, 305 Eastern Time, 951-952, Philadelphia Phillies against the Washington Nationals. Aaron Nola against Jake Irvin. Uh, Nola, $1.84 road favorite, 7.5 over minus $1.22. Uh, I also want to preface any of these selections by saying uh, you also want to keep in mind that a lot of these games, especially the last game of the year, will likely turn into bullpen games. So don't expect Aaron Nola or Jake Irvin, well, especially not Jake Irvin, but don't expect Aaron Nola to throw 100 pitches in this game. That's just uh, most, from what we've seen, uh, most of these uh, starters get you know three or four innings and then they get yanked, especially if they're going to the postseason. So we'll see how they, they handle it, but... Um, that's kind of what we saw on Saturday. Okay, um, let's get on this. Uh, boy, that stinks because I've been mean, talking to myself. Uh, before we, before I went on, that number, that consensus number on the total was seven and a half, but the juice was a dollar twenty two at some places, dollar twenty at most places, and I'm like, man, I gotta get on and do this video now because that looks like and we know that the public likes to bet the over so it looks like that that juice is going to burst up to eight and it already has so we'll have to go with that i uh, really wanted to get that seven and a half in there but we'll get to the eight um either way it's fine uh nola is scheduled to start but again it's very reason very little reason to think that rob thompson's going to keep him out there for 100 pitches so uh always have to anticipate uh, the bullpens when we're looking at the last day of the season uh nola one of the uh, division clincher for the philadelphia phillies but recent form uh has shown that there's been times where he hasn't been as sharp um, at least sharp enough to bet the under with total confidence. He's 1-2 and two, uh, over his last five starts, a 4.82 ERA. Jake Irvin, 10-13, and 13, a 4.22 ERA. Has had an acceptable season, uh, I would think, to the, the Nationals brass. Uh, probably, you know, is going to be a, a prominent member of that staff next year over his last five starts. We have seen uh, Ir Irvin lose three of those four decisions, or three or four decisions. Decisions. Of course, one was, in, uh, was a no decision. 6.66 uh, .66 ERA, so not exactly finishing the year off the way uh, he would have liked or, or, or the Nationals uh, front office would like. But one more shot for him. Uh, he's been a lot better on the road than at home. Opponents are hitting 25 points higher at National, Nationals Park. Um, so when he's on the road, 
He's been a lot better uh, than pitching at home. In the second half of the season, Urban is 3-5 and five with a 5.48 ERA. I'm going to take the over on this one. We're going to have to go over the 8 now. I really wanted at 7.5, but we'll have to go over 8. And you're getting even money, so that's not too bad. We we're giving up $1.20 for even money, so we'll go over that 8 and even money. Game number 2, 310 Eastern Time, 967-968. Oakland Athletics against the Seattle Mariners. Uh, this will be the last game uh, for the Oakland Athletics under the uh, label of Oakland Athletics. Seattle minus $1.75 at home. 7.5 is your total. 7.5 under minus 20. Mitch Spence against Logan Gilbert. Now, some sites have Bryce Miller starting this game for Seattle. Uh, but the word is that Logan Gilbert's going to get the ball. Just keep it in mind, uh, just to double check before placing your wagers, because a lot of these, and we'll talk about that in the next game, a lot of these things um, kind of get screwed up a little bit uh, as managers want to get uh, a look at some younger pitchers. And of course, they don't want to throw uh, guys like Gilbert, uh, you know, eight, nine innings. That's not going to be productive, and that's not what you're going to see out of most managers tomorrow. Uh, it really doesn't affect a play, whoever does start this game. Game, but uh, typically, again, this is going to be a bullpen game, so you're going to have to uh, factor into bullpens uh, over this past week and a little bit more than you would in the past. Uh, early betting patterns show that the public is on the over, but uh, not enough to change this number. Uh, at even money, that's a number I think that we want to jump on right now. I don't think the number is going to change at all, so we don't have to worry about that as we did in a previous game. But, of course, you want to get the best juice available, and I think you're having it right now at even money, or you have that right now at even money. Mitch Spence, 8-9 uh, this year, 4.35 year rate overall. Hasn't been sharp since the calendar turned to September, even though he is 3-2 and two with a 3.46 year rate. And you say, well, well, how could that be? Well, if you watch his games uh, or talk to people that know the organization well, they'll tell you, yeah, the numbers are good, but boy, he has had to pitch himself out of jams a couple times. As a matter of fact, a lot of times. And, and thank God he's got that, or thank goodness he's got that, uh, you know, strikeout ability that really has helped him get out of jams. In fact, in his last 30, uh, 26 innings, he's allowed 34 hits. So plenty of base runners uh, for Mitch Spence. Logan Gilbert, he's also tiptoed through his own, own, own troubles. He's got a 1-2 and two record over his last five starts, a 4.60 ERA. And then in the second half of the season, Gilbert is just 2-2 seven with a 4.33 ERA, a run and a half higher than he was in the first half. I'm going to go over the seven and a half uh, minus dollar uh, ten for the most part uh, in the second game. 310 Eastern time is your third game, 955, 956. New York Mets against the Milwaukee Brewers. David Peterson against Colin Ray. Mets on the road minus a dollar seventeen. Eight is your total. And I'm glad I had another I got another day to kind of think about this because I've thought about this game a lot, and I think we talked about this yesterday in the video, but um, we're going to try this pitching matchup just one more time. <laughs> Peterson is 9-3 and three this year, a 3.08 ERA. And diving deeper into his numbers, um, we see that Peterson has been exceptional on the road, a 5-1 and one record to go with a 2.88 ERA, and he's allowed just 60 hits in 65 and two-thirds innings. He's been a model of consistency uh, with a 4-0 mark in the first half of the season, 5-3 in the second half of the season, but the ERA could not have been more consistent between the first half and the second half. First half ERA, 3.09. Second half ERA, 3.08. Colin Ray, 12-6, 4.17 ERA. Has had a couple days to... Yeah, I've had a couple days to kind of reevaluate. I watched him uh, in a couple more starts and... He's been out in and out of the bullpen the last couple of weeks, so it really hasn't been uh, anywhere consistently, even though he is he is a starting pitcher for sure. Uh, he has been a guy that uh, we talked about this was smashed by the Giants uh, three starts ago, gave up 10 earned runs. But uh, his numbers at home have been terrific. He's 7-3 and three with a 3.92 ERA. He's allowed 74 hits and 87 and a third innings at home and has been very good. His numbers are very good in high leverage situations. So I I'm going to go under the 8 for your third free play. So that does it for your Sunday free plays. Please go to pickdogs.com. Get involved with one of my many available packages, including my all-access pass that gives you every play I release for one low price. Here's your Sunday free, free play 
recap. Philadelphia, Washington, over eight, even money. Oakland, Seattle, over seven and a half, even money. And New York, Mets, Milwaukee Brewers, under eight. Uh, minus a dollar, uh, uh, even money as well at this point. I see see some uh, ju juices a little bit different on it, but if you can get even money, minus a dollar five in some spots, uh, you could jump on that right now. Uh, that does it for today's show. Thank you so much to everyone who watches on a daily basis. Please hit that like and subscribe button. For Against the Public, I'm Dana Lane. All the best to you and your wagers on Sunday.